It's called a hit year stager, and it gets scheduled directly before an oldie, and it says what year that oldie was a hit, like this. Flashback Top 40 Time Machine. Time Machine. Time Machine. 1962. And there's a song from 1962. That's Little Eva's Locomotion. And next hour, at the bottom of the hour, same thing happens with a different year. Flashback Top 40 Time Machine, 1964. And here comes a song from 1964, Good Old Man Put Man. Now, doing this is very easy to do. I'm going to show you how to set it up. The program director has a non-music category named Hit Year Stages. And inside it, he's got one card for each hit year. On the Link Tracks screen, he's linked songs to the Hit Year Stagers. We can scroll up and down the full library and see the songs that are linked to the selected stager. And you can also click on this button here and see only the songs that are linked to the stager that you have selected. Here are the ones from 1964. Here are some linked songs from 66. And here are some from 77. Step two is adding link track units to the format clocks. Here's one placed just before a category named graffiti. Right click on it and select properties. In the alignment field, you see we have it linked to the next song. You can also use this function to link and play after a song. On the attributes tab, we can have five different link types. You can name these. This station has uh, three, Hit Year, Future Flash, and Back Cell. More about this in a moment. For this clock, we only want to use Hit Year stagers, so check that box. Link track types are named in System Settings. Let's go there, and you find the Link Types tab in the lower part of the screen, and you can type in your names right there. And the final step is to click and select the link type on the audio cards for each of the hit year stagers. And these tracks can then only be scheduled next to songs that are linked by hit year. <laughs> 